Cooking with your girl, Judy. Y'all, today, I'm going to cook some homemade southern butter beans. Down here, we call them big flats. So you will need a bag of butter beans. I'm going to tell you the ounces on them. A pound, 16 ounces of butter beans, big flats. You will need a ham hock, which I'm fixing to take right over here and put in the water. And I'm gonna put the top on them. You will need chopped garlic. About a about a tablespoon of chop, chopped garlic. You will need a whole chopped onion. Small I, I I prefer a big onion, but if you have two small onions, chop them up. You will need onion powder. Pepper, I prefer the white pepper. Sometimes I use the black pepper, but uh, I prefer white pepper. You will need adoba or seasoning salt or whatever kind of seasoning salt you like. But I'm going to use today the Lowry's adoba. Crushed red pepper. Accent. Old school. Salt. Pepper. And sugar. I'm going to go away. Wait till my ham hock ball balls and fall apart and um i'll be right back with you oh i forgot you're gonna need some chicken broth i didn't have the better than bouillon chicken broth so i put me four cubes of chicken broth here and about two cups of water And a pan of cornbread which I have on my channel you can go on my channel and uh, get my cornbread how I make my cornbread but you will need a pan of cornbread now okay bye bye okay now that my ham hock has uh, fell, fell apart and um, I'm still boiling it in the water. It took about an hour and a half. I'm gonna add the fresh garlic. I'm gonna add the onion, the whole onion I cut up. Teaspoon of accent. Crushed red pepper. Adobo. Onion powder. White pepper. A 
And I'm not gonna say how much to add, just however much you want to add to your um, water. Salt, black pepper, I can't tell you how much to add, but when you get through, you can taste it, the water, the broth, and see how it tastes to you, and the sugar. And I'm going to add a... A butter and I use salted butter I like flavor having a hard time getting this butter open I should have been open this butter okay one stick of butter And that's why we call them butter beans. Okay. I'm going to taste the water. Put a little bit more salt. Oh wow, I forgot. I uh can't taste the food good because of the uh medication I'm taking. Um let me get somebody to taste this broth and see if it tastes good. I'm gonna have to stop cooking. I got until Tuesday. Come in late, Lily. I got until Tuesday and I'll be through with the medication. This bra. Is it hot? Yeah, it's real hot, so take it and blow it. It'll be Tuesday when I'm through with the medication. And that's tomorrow. It's good. It's good, okay. Okay, baby, I'm going to give you some. And uh, I'll be through with the medication Tuesday. So then I'll be able to uh, taste food. And um, I'm going to let this sit uh, boil for about maybe 15 minutes. And then I'm going to add the butter beans. Okay? Okay. They've been boiling the meat and the uh, seasonings and the onion have been boiling for about maybe 15, 20 minutes. Now I'm going to... Put the beans on that I had on the back. I, I soaked the beans in water. So now I'm going to put the beans on. cook for about maybe an hour, hour and 15 minutes. It takes them about an hour if they've been soaking. So I'm going to let them cook for about an hour first and then I'll check on them and I'm going to turn them down with sort of medium. And uh, I will be right back. Hey guys, I've had the butter beans on now for about uh, an hour and a half. I have, uh, they're through, they're thick, they are ready. I'm going to pan me up some and uh, eat them if I can taste them. But uh, they've been ready now for an hour and a half. 
Okay, guys, here is my butter beans, ham hock, and cornbread, habanero peppers, and tomatoes. I'm going to eat just a small bit, and I'm going to tell you why I can't taste But it's good. Back when I had the flu, I developed colitis. And colitis is inflammation of the colon. Colitis can be a short-term or long-standing chronic illness. Crohn's disease and Ulcerative colitis are two types of colitis, which are chronic. They usually require long-term treatment, but I'm not going to claim that. I'm not going to claim long-term treatment. I'm hoping that the medicine that they provided for me for seven days will clear it up. And I'm reading from a paper. The causes... There are many different causes of colitis, including viruses, which that flu I had, germs, medicine reactions, and the symptoms are diarrhea, intestinal bleeding, pain, fever, throwing up, tiredness, weight loss, and bowel blockage. I had some of those symptoms, and uh, what happened, I was... Uh, when I had that flu, I wouldn't rest. And you are supposed to rest when you have the flu. And uh, I was lifting um, those cast iron skillets that I have, the big heavy ones. And I felt like a pop or a feel like in my back and my lower part of my stomach. And that's when I was getting it. Because when you got the flu, you, you've got to rest. You can't move around and and do unusual strange things and um, when you have a flu you have um, coughing um, arthritis fibromyalgia shingles you can uh, also get that and uh, I wasn't resting I was still moving around and um, lifting heavy things it, it wasn't in my jurisdiction. I shouldn't have been lifting nothing heavy. Uh, the diagnosis that they did for me was a CAT scan. They That's how they realized I had colitis. They did a CAT scan. And they, um, and they uh, put fluid in my IV. They, they kept me in, in the emergency room for one day and they uh, did the intravenous uh, Flew it through my veins, and they really wanted to put me in the hospital, but I I couldn't. I really couldn't because I have the grandchildren, and I have, you know, things I have to see about, which I should have uh, went in the hospital. They gave me the medicine. They told me that they would let me go if I took the medicine for seven days and took all of it, regardless of how I'm feeling, to take the medicine for seven days. So, um, my home care was get rest, plenty of rest. And I jumped up the next day doing that uh, omelet. And then I jumped up doing that tomato with uh, tuna. So, I, I've got to rest now. And, uh, well, I've been resting. And for uh, tomorrow makes the seventh day that I am uh, to take the medicine. And I'm feeling better. I really am feeling better. Um, colitis, no joke, honey. That's that's a, a terrible disease. And uh, I hurt for, for at least two weeks. I hurt for two weeks. So I'm going to uh, taste a little bit more of this, which is good. I won't eat it all. I'll give it to my grandbaby and let her eat it. But I got to find a better diet. 
And I bet you there's the, the diet that they're going to have me doing is anything without seeds, like tomatoes and the peppers and stuff like that. But, um, uh, subscribe to my video. Butter beans. Ham hog. You can put turkey in there if you want to. Sliced tomato and cornbread. Subscribe, like, and comment. Stay humble. Be blessed. And y'all have a good day. Bye for now. Oh. You ain't got to go home. But you got to get out of here. Bye. <laughs>